So I've been gone on YouTube for a fat minute now, but I posted a reel or YouTube short way back and it was about my transformation. So I wanna replay that because I got a lot of comments that I wanna go and explain more about what I was doing and then what I'm doing now. I got 83,000 views on this reel. So let's give it a watch. People ask me how I stay motivated. I don't. I stay consistent. When I hit the bottom, or when things get tough, I keep going. Because wherever I am, people ask me how I stay. I did post this reel way back and I got a lot of comments. I have like 53 comments about this reel. So let me go through it and, and answer it for you. From Davey Horton, what's your height, weight at the beginning, and weight in the last photo? So before I even go into this reel, my physique has improved a little bit over the last year. And the biggest thing that I wanna address is I've actually stayed consistent with my diet. Well, consistently inconsistent, meaning that I've been just eating, you know, foods that I love, like Asian food, a lot of rice, noodles, no diet in particular. I don't haven't counted my calories in a fat minute. And the reason why I haven't counted or kept track of it is because I wanna show you that you can get lean, not shredded, but lean while eating your favorite foods and living a healthy lifestyle. My height is 5'5". Five five and I think the beginning of my weight transformation was, I was about 155 pounds. And then I'm gonna post a more recent photo on the screen and show you that I was around 133 pounds in this photo. And same thing, I wasn't dieting. I was actually increasing my daily activity as well as being in a calorie deficit. And I'll explain more of that. I mean, I have a lot of questions about it. So yeah, the last photo I was around 133 pounds. Joe said, what was your body fat percentage in the first clip? The first clip I didn't test. I think I was around, I have to say 18 to high 20% body fat. When I did my first body fat test, um, when I was fasting way back when I did prolonged fasting, trying to get lean, I was around like 16% body fat, which was crazy because I was fasting a lot. I was in a calorie deficit and I still didn't look any better. So I'll have to say in the beginning of this short, I was probably like sub 20% body fat, 24, who knows? Uh, Kareem said, I see you were in a calorie deficit from other comments, but you, were you able to get stronger or did you plateau at some point since you were cutting? I focused a lot on calisthenics. So I kind of shifted from weight training all the way down to just body weight exercises. I still kept the relative strength. Actually, I'll post a video here showing you me benching 225 at 131 pounds. So when I got even leaner and cut, I'm still pretty strong. I was able to do muscle ups, front levers, handstands, you name it, right? And and, and strength is relative to weight. And my focus isn't to be the strongest guy at the gym. I actually want to be the smallest dude, stay lean, but also be relatively strong. So I think my strength has been the same, but my work is a little bit different. And I'll, I'll get to that later. Did you eat at maintenance or in a deficit? Deficit. Zig Zack says, bro, tell me your strategy. The strategy to this was being able to move a little bit more. And that means going on more walks, not really strong stressing about you know the food or my workouts and getting a lot of sleep sleep is so underrated sleep is the best way for you to lose body fat or to burn calories you need sleep to recover and to actually perform your workouts and perform any tasks throughout the day so my strategy would be to be in a calorie deficit slight 200 300 calorie deficit get a lot of protein get your sleep in seven to eight hours of sleep as well as increasing your daily activity so walking you know nothing outside of working now and you know, I've started doing construction in the real estate development side. So I'm always walking, I'm always carrying stuff. And surprisingly, I got even leaner, even though I was eating kind of trash food like McDonald's, because, you know, my mentor would be giving us food to work to have energy. And then later at night, it'll be a higher protein meal. I still wasn't counting calories that, that, that way, but I was definitely in a calorie deficit. I wasn't eating that much. So that was my old video on my reel answering these questions. And I want to explain to you exactly what I'm doing right now. And that's going to be changing over the next week or two. Right now, what I've been doing for the last year or even three to four months has been mainly calisthenics with also weight training with it. I would start off with some skill work like handstands, 
front levers, muscle ups, and then work into my working sets of, you know, the specific muscle group, whether that may be chest, shoulders, back. And I'm only doing about three workouts per exercise, but I'm going to failure. That's going to be the most important thing is trying to go to muscular failure where the last rep is going to be tough. And that's when the real work and the real gains happen. I tend to go off the eight to 12 rep range. And once I hit the 12 rep range, I'm, I'm done. It doesn't matter if I'm gas, doesn't matter if it's easy. I just stopped at 12. Now I'm more focused on form and making sure that I'm going to failure and getting that good squeeze at the end and just going as hard as I can and pushing myself. And I'll show you a video of what going to failure looks like because not a lot of people actually go to failure. They just work around that eight to 12 range or even six to eight range and they never go past 12, 15, 20, even though it's not optimal, I would suggest testing yourself to go to failure where it's hard to even push your limits. So that's my training routine. My nutrition has been relatively the same. I haven't changed it at all where I'm tracking my macros or seeing what I'm eating. I just adjust okay, if I'm getting a lot more body fat, I'm going to cut down on what I'm eating, focus on more protein, I'm cutting down on, you know, the fats or carbs, depending on how I feel and increasing my daily activity. So going on more walks, doing a little bit more cardio, nothing too crazy, no, no crazy intensity workouts. I want to make sure that, you know, fitness is part of my life and not my life. And, you know, I've gotten some comments down, down below say, oh, you only made this much progress in the year. Here's the thing. I did not go on a diet. I did not subscribe to a plan. I did not track. I wanted to show, you know, all the Asian guys that, hey, if you're eating all your favorite foods like rice, noodles, you can still get in amazing shape. Definitely go on a plan that's gonna track your macros and track your calories and go to the T. But honestly, I don't wanna say excuses, but don't have time for that. Or I don't have access to this because I'm constantly working, whether at a construction site, I don't have a choice of what I wanna eat because my mentor is providing food for us. And at night I go out to eat with my, my family. My mom cooks me food and you know, I'm going to eat whatever is available so that I have energy for the next day. I don't have a choice really to make it happen, but I'm still conscious of what I'm eating. If I have a choice, I'll make sure I prioritize protein and, and getting as much of that as possible. You know, so obviously I'm not going to be the most shredded guy on YouTube or social media, but I wanna be realistic with you and say, hey, I'm also natural. I'm also natural, I'm putting in the work in. You know, my biggest focus right now is working on either my self-confidence, my business, um, real estate, construction, you know, the whole shebang. If I really wanna get shredded and really wanna dial in everything to be beach ready 24 seven, yeah, I might have to go track. And I will definitely document that for you guys and show you that it's possible even working, you know, a nine to five or even working 16 hours a week. I'm gonna explain all that, but you're gonna have to wait. So let me know in the comments down below, what else do you wanna see? What other content do you wanna see from me? Whether that's might be fitness, nutrition, um, my approach on dating, code approaching, confidence, you know, the whole shebang. I wanna help as many Asian guys as possible, just like you to be the best version of yourself. So let me know in the comments down below, make sure you like, comment, smash that notification bell. That's gonna help the channel a lot. My goal is to hit a thousand subs by hopefully the end of the month. So. Do that for me, help me grow this channel, and I want you to be a part of this community. So let's do it. See you guys in the next video.